Hey there, so this is a quick little video just showing my new script, uh, Project Panel Navigator. And so what this script does is just give you a little toolbar right here that helps you uh, navigate Project Panel items. I've always found the After Effects' Project Panel to be just a little hard to navigate, um, so that's why I whipped this together. You know, uh, there's no easy way to like jump between folders or go to the parent folder. So with this script, um, I'll show you how the buttons work. This first three are about folders. So these just jump to the next folder um, at the same level, whatever level you're on. If you hold shift while you're clicking them, it'll jump to the next or previous folder on any level. Um, so that's just a quick way to jump around some folders. Um, and then this button to the left of it jumps to the parent folder of whatever you're in. So if I'm in here and click that, it'll just jump to the parent and I can just keep jumping to the parent. And then actually, if you're really deep in the project, if you hold shift and click that, it's gonna jump to the first item in the project. And if you have that first item selected while you hold shift and click it again, it's going to jump to the last item in the project. So if I'm here and I just want to get the last item, I can just quickly shift click that twice. Um, this is a quick little way to, to get yourself in and out of deep nested project stuff. Um, this next button right here, this selects all folder contents. So if I have this subfolder selected, I click that, it's going to select everything inside of it. Um, and if I'm on a no, if I have a non-folder selected, it's going to select everything in that level. Now, obviously, you can see it didn't select the contents of the subfolder, but it will if I hold Shift, which, as you can see, will it says it'll select all subfolder contents. Um, then, if I hold Alt and click it, this is going to deselect everything. Um, this next button is about selecting all folders. So, if I'm at the root level and I click that, it's just going to select all the folders at the root level. Um, if you hold shift and click it, it's always going to select the root level folder. So if I'm really deep in the project and I have all these things open and I get a little confused, just hold shift and click that, it selects all the root folders, then I click left, done, out of that jam. Um, there's also the option of if you shift and alt and click, it'll select all folders in the entire project. So if I just hold sh alt and shift and click that, it's going to select every single folder. Um, again, that's useful for just closing them all quickly. Um, and then if I just hold Alt and click it, it just deselects everything. Uh, this next button is similar to that, except with comps. If I am on this level and I just click that, it's going to select all comps on that same level, um, right there. If I want to select, if I have a folder selected, I want to select the comps that are in the folder. I shift click it. It's going to select all the comps in the folder. And then if I shift Alt and click it, it's going to select all comps in the entire project. And then if I Alt click it, just like the other ones. It's going to deselect everything. So it's just a quick way to uh, select a bunch of stuff. Oops, sorry. Uh, this next one is a great, really handy one. So if I have, like, say I want to create a new folder and put all these items in it, normally I'd have to create a new folder, name it, put all the items in it, blah, blah, blah. It's annoying. With this, I just select a bunch of things, click that, new folder, boom. All of them in new folder. It's very handy. I'm going to undo that. Um, then there's uh, this next one is called Smart Paste. So Smart Paste, if I want to uh, copy pre-comp 5 and paste it in the subfolder A, when I hit Paste, it pastes it to the root level. It's kind of frustrating. Um, but if I use Smart Paste, I copied it, and I click Smart Paste, it's going to paste it into whatever level I have selected. So if, if I actually have a non-folder item selected, like here, it's going to paste it next to it. Um, now. Sometimes when you do this, like if I have this, this, this item named A, if I copy and paste it, it's going to put an A2. Sometimes you don't want that. Like if I put it into this folder, I don't want that A2. So if I actually hold Alt, as you can see in the little help tip, if I hold Alt while I click it, it's going to remove the little thing that After Effects adds. Um, just save you a little time having to do that manually. Uh, and then the other option you have is that if you hold Shift, it's going to paste it at the same level no matter what. So if I have a folder selected and I use Smart Paste, it's going to paste into the folder. But what if I want it pasting uh, next to the folder, but I have a folder selected? I just hold Shift, and it'll just paste it at the same level as the folder. Um, OK, so this next one is a Batch Renamer. So if I just want to rename all these items, I click that. And it gives you a little uh, search or replace feature or prefix suffix. So say I want to change the word folder to DAS. There you go, I just did it. I'm going to undo that. Say I want to prefix everything with stuff. Yeah, super easy. Um, and obviously, you also have the option to ignore case or not. 
um, that's your choice. And then this last one is useful for editing a comment, the comment field. So if I want to change all these comments, I just click that. And I um, let me actually just move this over so you can see it. Click that and I comment. And now the comment has been changed for all those items. Now, there's a bunch of stuff that's in that folder that wasn't changed. If I did want to do that, I'm going to undo that. If I did want to do that, I just say comment. And then I click affect all subfolder items. There you go, it added it to all of them. Great. Now, here's the thing though, if I want to make all these comments, but I want to make them all slightly different, um, it's, you know, I, it takes a while to do it. If I just shift click this, it's actually going to do them one by one. So I can uh, say one, two, three, four. Super easy, super fast. Um, great. So that's all, that's all the uh, buttons. Um, this, the panel is also pretty customizable. Um, let me just undock it to show you. So um, I have it laid out like that. Um, there's also options in the help menu to uh, orient it in a row or a column and to change the uh, the button icon size. But you can also do that um, quickly by just, if I alt uh, click the help button, it's actually going to change the uh, orientation. Sorry, I didn't do it there. Um, just so if you quickly want to change that. And if you hold shift and click it, it's going to change the button size to the smaller icon size. So if I just quickly, you know, if I have it down there and I just want to quickly change it to that and put it there, super easy. Or I can do that and then move it there. It's so whatever you prefer. Um, and then there's one more option to, to focus on the project panel after you click. Um, so that's just, you know, if I click anything it's just going to immediately focus onto the project panel this is useful like if you have if you're in a comp and you have a layer selected and then you start you know you, you have a layer selected then you click that and then you start hitting left and right if you don't have the project panel focused it'll actually move the layer left and right um, so this just uh, will make it so it always as you can see as soon as I click it it stops highlighting that and highlights the uh, project panel so that just helps you do that if that's what you want, but if it's not, you can always just click it off. Well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like the script and find it useful. I know I do. And thanks.